The idea of feeling different in your body first began manifesting, let's put the tailbone aside, general wellness of being, you know, that life force, that, when did that start to return to you? Well, that was returning uh, at the same time that the uh, uh, the pain was going down in those mm-hmm. in that particular area. All right. So and, after uh, about how many weeks? Three weeks? Oh, four weeks? Five weeks? You started to notice a little something? Yes. Yes. And and at, when I looked back at that time, I uh, realized that it had been going on, and I hadn't. Uh, realized it, and and uh, and now I was sure of it. All right. Okay. What else happened in your life beside the physical feeling of energy? Did your mind? How did your mind begin to tell you, "Hey, I'm I'm feeling better, Vaughn. Things are getting yes. better here." Yes, that all goes on. Your brain hooks up with it, uh, and and. Um, and, uh, and it was a good feeling to be uh, knowing that I was on the right track versus what what I knew would have happened to me if I had paid attention to those doctors. Oh, yeah. They, they, you'd be attending your own funeral permanently. Right. Okay. Richard, anything you want to add here? It's important for people to know that we're discussing one particular type of immune challenge here that Vaughn experienced, but people should understand that carnivore is not specific to any one type of challenge to the immune system. It addresses any type of abnormal cell in the body, many of which cause many different types of challenges to the immune system. So hard to believe that this is the one type of product that is not specific to any one type of challenge. It doesn't much matter really what it is. Uh, Maybe that sounds a little crazy, but that is an absolute truth. Nature is full of wonderful things. Doesn't sound sound crazy at all. Nature is full of wondrous things, and this is one of them. And God only knows how many others are lying out there that we'll never even get to find out about. I think 1% of all the flora have been tested in the Amazon rainforest for medicinal effects. Something ridiculous. What lies in nature uh, is really nothing less than the, the, the ultimate uh, mediator for any kind of a, of a physical challenge of this nature and other similar ones. All right. right. Uh, Vaughn, let's go back to your story now. Um, five months later, the tailbone issue was resolved. Uh, you went along, obviously, for a... a certain amount of time, did you return to the oncologist for another PSA reading? Well, I I said in my mind, hey, look, uh, the money that they would have spent would have been $350,000, and the doctors getting a piece of that uh, was beyond uh, uh, what I was spending to get well, and uh, therefore... Uh, whereas they wanted only to give me a PSA every three months, I demanded that I get them every month so that I knew what was happening. And the PSA whoops, was going down, and uh, so the... Uh, um, did, did you tell them what you were doing? Well, the, I, I got... A, a couple of guys in another hospital uh-huh. uh, to uh, uh, help me uh, through with this and uh, uh, help me monitor it and so on, uh, and for which I was uh, very uh, uh, thankful for. And I told those people, and I don't know that the other people that had... Uh, uh, I uh, had the verbal uh, battle with, uh, uh, may or may not have ever found out, out about it. So the, what you're saying is the primary doctors may or may not have found out. Okay. You were getting your PSAs. That, that I just, I can't even imagine what it must have been like being Vaughn and getting those results and knowing you were on the way back. 
That's got to be well, amazing. Well, uh, let me just share a couple of steps. Uh, a year later, uh, you see, at first I bought a, a year's worth of uh, uh, of the product, and uh, uh, and then uh, and then I got another batch of it, and uh, and I ran out again, and I was out of money for a month or two at that time, and uh, my PSA went up to. Uh, 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 or I uh, rather, I want to correct that to say my reading went up to nine point six or thereabouts, uh-huh. and uh, then I got money, and it, the reading went down to four point uh, two or three, and then I ran out of uh, a certain uh, period uh, mm-hmm. later uh, uh-huh. to, uh, and it, it had gone up to twenty. And uh, then I got another a batch of money that I could uh, go ahead with. And after that, um, it has come down to uh, uh, 17 points. So I've got a lot of confidence that uh, uh, it, it, that it is working. It you, well, is you, what, well, what we're doing yeah. and that I can uh, uh, get my funds uh, into uh into place and uh, uh-huh. bring it on down to and, and keep it down. You already also have a lot of confirmation that there's a direct correlation between the intake of carnivora and the the test results you were getting. I mean, that's pretty clear. Absolutely. All right. Hey, well, that went from a fifteen over fifteen hundred to a three point five. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. The only reason it had risen is because. He had prematurely stopped uh-huh. for a little while, uh-huh. and I wish he had what he had called me back then and told me he was in dire straits financially. We yeah. would have sent it to him. We, we want to make clear that carnivora is not expensive. I and mean, when you look at the average cancer patient for the AMA now, what's it? What's it? What's a cancer patient worth? It used to be a half a million dollars. It's more. It's much more than that now. I don't know what it is now, but there's an average of over half a million dollars at least for the average. Serious cancer patient. That's what the money, it's a money game, folks. Sure. What it is. So anyway, you know, this 3.5 jumped up a little bit, and, and now I think you said it's at 17, but he's back with mm-hmm, the product, mm-hmm. and I'm going to make sure he sticks to his guns with the product, and I think he'll be where he should be in due time. This is the kind of a product, dear friends, that I, I could see Every conscientious individual taking every day on a prophylactic basis. We need the extra immune help. Now, I'm a vegan. I take real good care of myself. So I'm I'm fine. I don't get sick. I do well. But I'm in the tiny little fraction of a minority in this country. I would even take carnivora on a daily basis if I had any idea that I was going to be eating junk. Uh, but I don't. And I just the food itself. Now, let's talk about smart meter EMF, cell phone EMF. We know what these uh, ionizing radiations do to the body. And then let's talk about Fukushima radiation. I mean, not to mention all the other hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and ultimately thousands of chemicals we come into contact with every single day. They're all degrading to our lives, our lives, our lifestyle, our actual physiological ability to maintain our relative freedom of disease. Uh, it's, we need this. This is something that everybody ought to take every day. 